Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ, and today I want to give you a bass fishing water temperature cheat sheet. Stay tuned, it's going to be awesome. Hey guys, so today I kind of want to do something a little bit different. I wanted to give you what I would call a water temperature cheat sheet for bass fishing. And what I mean by that is whenever you're trying to find bass on any given body of water, water temperature is really one of the biggest clues that you can use to help you figure out what stage the bass are in. Now, if you know what stage the bass are in, it's gonna help you to figure out what the bass are doing and where to look for those fish. So water temperature is very, very important. Now, it's definitely good to know that water temperature isn't the only factor, okay? Recent weather conditions, whether the lake has flooded recently, if there's been a big front that has come through, if the water's been stable, a lot of, a lot of those things are gonna go into what stage the bass are in. So keep that in mind that these water temperatures aren't exact, but I do think that if you follow these kind of guidelines or guardrails, it'll help put you in the right area when it comes to figuring out the bass. So I'm first gonna start from the winter and go from the spring to summer to fall and back to the winter, okay? So when it comes to winter, I'm gonna classify a winter water temperature as anything below 45 degrees. Once you start getting into the spring and that water temperature starts getting a little bit warmer, you're gonna hit that 45, 46, 47 degree mark. And from about 46, 47 degrees on to 60 degrees, that's gonna be your pre-spawn time frame for bass fishing. Okay, this is an awesome time of year where bass are biting very, very heavily and you have a lot of bass that are moving shallow and they're really, really easy to catch. I think someone's spying on me. This is a great time of the year to fish chatter baits and spinner baits and crank baits. You're really gonna be able to catch fish heavily on those baits, focusing on shallow water. Now the, now the next water temperature time frame is gonna be from that 60 degree mark to about 70 degrees. And this is gonna be your primary spawning water temperature. This is really about the best temperature that bass are gonna start moving up on beds and they're actually gonna start the spawning process. No, no matter whether you're actually able to look for them because it's clear water or whether you're fishing dirty water and you can't see them but you're pitching to where the beds are, this is a great water temperature between that 60 and 70 degree mark. Now again, there's a lot of factors that go into what phases the bass are in, not just water temperature, but I do believe that water temperature is a big one. The length of day is another really big thing. Weather conditions is another really big thing. Another big thing is the location of the lake that you're fishing. For instance, in the north, your water temperature, bass may actually start spawning when that water is in the 55 degrees. Now down south, I've seen bass spawning in almost 80 degree water down south and in Florida. The windows down south are a lot more broad, where up north, it's a lot more tight for those fish to spawn. But again, that 60 to 70 degree mark is probably one of the best time frames for bass to be spawning. Now, once you get past the spawn and you get kind of to that that 70 to 80 degree mark, that's really your post spawn time frame, right? That's that, that's that time frame right after the spawn. Some bass are still gonna be on beds, but most of the bass have moved out. And this is another great time of the year when bass are really feeding heavily. This is a great time of the year when bass are first starting to get to ledges and you can really catch them well on big crankbaits and big aggressive baits. It's also, it's also a time frame where bluegills start to move up and they start to spawn during full moons. And so some bass are gonna remain shallow and they're gonna feed on those bluegills as they come up to the bank. If you wanna know about more about post-spawn bass fishing, you can click on the post-spawn complete guide to post-spawn bass fishing I have right here. Now moving on to anything over 80 degrees, this is gonna be your primary summertime fishing. Now, again, down south, your water temperatures may get over 100 degrees, like in Florida, in, in Texas, some places like that, your temperatures may get over 100 degrees, while up north, your water temperatures may not even get to 80 some years. Sometimes they might be in that mid 70 range. So again, I'm using 80 as kind of the general time frame, but this is kind of your, your summertime fishing. This is when you're gonna be fishing primarily deep, but no matter what, 
even when the water temperature is extreme, I mean, I'm talking 85, 90, 95, 100 degrees, there's always going to be some fish that are still shallow. Towards the end of summer, you're going to start to have cool nights, and that water temperature is going to start to slowly go back down. You're going to have cool nights, you're going to have warm days, it's going to start to, the water temperature is going to start to cool off, and really when you get to kind of that upper 70s, 75 to 70 degree mark, this is where you're really going to see the fall turnover start to kick in, and the fall turnover is a really hard time to fish. If you guys want to know more about the fall turnover, you can click on the video link above, and it'll actually i did a fall fishing complete guide that'll show you everything from the fall turnover to late fall so next we have what i would call the primary fall bite this is the fall feed and this is another fun time to fish a lot of times the fish are really aggressive during this time of the year they're feeding heavily and you can catch a lot of fish doing a number of different things and this is going to be that water temperature any anywhere from about 70 degrees to about 55 degrees as it cools it's going to be the fish are going to be feeding heavily preparing for the winter now as that water temperature starts to dip below about 55 degrees somewhere between 55 and 45 this is your late fall early winter time frame this is where really where you're going to start to see more bass relating to deeper creek channel banks and the main river channel and you're going to be able to start to catch fish on a little bit slower moving baits. I'm gonna be making a very specific video about this time of the year because I do think it's a great time of year to catch big fish. But anyways, this is kind of your late fall, early winter time frame. Now to wrap things up, we get to where the water temperature starts to dip below 45 degrees. And again, this is now your winter bass fishing. And guys, bass can be caught all winter long, even if that water is freezing even if it's frozen there's guys who ice fish and they catch bass often so anything below 45 degrees it's going to be a little bit more difficult especially if the water is muddy but a lot of times if you find fish you're going to find them in big groups guys i hope this water temperature cheat sheet will kind of help you throughout the year to kind of gauge what the fish are doing and what you should be doing in order to catch more bass I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this style of video and I'll see you guys in the next video.